Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be talking about this award-winning grub rub uh, out of Texas. It's an old family recipe. Uh, it's called the grub rub. It is both a seasoning and a tenderizer all in one. I absolutely love the stuff. I uh, barbecue with it all the time. I smoke with it all the time. And uh, this is my second one. Actually, no, this is my third one. So I just got this one in and I was wanting to give it like a little shout out. Uh, it's been passed down from generation to generation. Um, it, it's a delicious sauce. You can turn it into a sauce or you can use it as just a sprinkle, like a one-all tenderizer or seasoning if you're gonna throw it on some meat and put it into uh, the fridge and let it sit overnight. Uh, there's no MSG to it, which is absolutely fabulous. Uh, it's gluten-free, which I couldn't believe that at all whatsoever because you just don't see that anymore. You can put it on veggies, you can put it on, on meat, you can rub it in, uh, you can sprinkle it on. If you have a thick cut of meat, you're gonna wanna rub it in there uh, so that you can get those seasonings in here to actually go right in. And um, it, it, it's delicious. Now, I used to use uh, some of the more traditional, I guess, um, seasoning, seasoning salts that have been out there for a long time. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, when I make my steaks, I really only use salt and black pepper, but I did try this on a ribeye and I was torn. I didn't know if I wanted to stay traditional or if I wanted to um, switch it over to this at all whatsoever. It actually seals in the meat uh, and its natural flavors. Uh, it makes the, the meat tender and, and it keeps it moist while you're cooking it. I absolutely love how this is a seasoned a seasoner and a tenderizer all in one you can even make a marinade out of this if you're gonna throw it in especially if you're dealing with some of the tougher cuts of meat or let's say you have something that has a little bit of freezer burn a lot of people don't know you can still eat your freezer burn meat it's just not gonna taste as well because it's a little bit older it's kind of taking some of that out and if you uh, throw your meat into the microwave and you defrost it there, you're gonna lose some of the flavor. So with something like this, you can still throw it on there and the protein is still there and uh, it just makes it taste really good. Now this is a 6.4 ounce bottle and they do make a 13 ounce bottle, which I think is what I'm gonna get next time just so it can be uh, uh, bigger. You can put it in uh, all different types of beans and peas from black beans to uh, black eyed peas to corn on the cob and of course good old regular french fries you really don't need anything else with this one here at all whatsoever it's kind of a one-stop shop for seasonings so if you're a novice at cooking i suggest this you just go ahead and get this and if you're going to try your hand at a brisket this year uh go ahead and rub it in there let it do its business and then you'll be able to see what it tastes like based off of that. Another good thing that I like about this too is pretty much a one-stop shop for seasonings is that you can use it on fish. So that's meat, that's chicken, that's fish, and veggies. Now, you can put different amounts of what. So if you, let's say you only had this and you were gonna do a uh, steak and you were gonna do some, let's say corn on a cob, now you can make a marinade and, no, no, let's not do steak, we'll do ribs. You'll make a marinade, throw your ribs in the fridge, leave it overnight with this, go ahead and roast your ears of corn and then you can sprinkle your ears of corn with this and you're gonna get two totally different types of flavor out of it from just the sprinkling to the marinade. And um, yeah, and with it being with no MSGs and it's gluten free, you just can't get any better than that. It has no preservatives. Now let's see what's in the ingredients here. Can you see that? Um, it's got sugar, salt, pepper, spices, garlic, onion, tenderizer, pineapple, fruit extract. It's gluten-free, no preservatives, and no MSG. So that's really nothing. It's basically if you took whatever seasonings that you were already using and then it got some pineapple fruit extract i would I, I cook a lot with pineapple and so i just puree it and i put it on my meat anyway i had no idea because this is the first time i actually read that portion 
that pineapple fruit extract was in there and uh, it kind of seasons it even more and it gives like a little tangy sweet taste and so when you cook it it's gonna have that caramelized kind of feel and it's only got three calories per serving and that is nothing it doesn't add anything to what it is that you're doing um, here's the other side here like it says it's excellent on all meats barbecue even baked fried uh, for beef, you can use it on briskets, ribs, fajitas, tenderloin, steaks, hamburger, jerky, chicken. Uh, tastes better without the skin. I love it with the skin. I love it how the, the tenderizer, or not tenderizer, but the seasoning portions just get into the little flaps. But you can't eat too much of that. Uh, turkey, same thing without the skin. But with my turkey, I don't like the skin as much, so I do remove that. Uh, pork, roast ribs, chops, tenderloins, venison, roast hams, ribs, and tenderloin. Now, venison... Um, for those of you who might not be as familiar with it, it's going to have a gamey taste uh, or it could have a gamey taste if you don't remove the silver lining and this actually tastes good on that. I use it on deer, I use it on elk, I use it on um, wild boar, love it. Seafood, vegetables, um, or any other wild game. So you can't go wrong, this is like I said, it's a one-stop shop for a tenderizer and for a seasoning. So yeah. This is an award-winning Grubhub. They have other seasonings that are out there. I think they have about five, uh, but this is the one that I like the most. And uh, like I said, it's a old family Texas recipe. So go out, give it a shot, and uh, keep rubbing and rubbing. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me open it. So you can see the consistency of what it looks like real quick before I sign off. And it's got a nice big stopper on there. And then there you go. That's what it looks like. All different types of seasonings. And it's delicious.